I'm in San Antonio, Texas, uh, standing in the Salado Creek, which is, uh, I'm at a spot just south of Hebner Road. And um, I'm at a place where I believe uh, is the beginning of the um, Edwards Aquifer Recharge Zone. If you look downstream here, you notice that there's a lot of uh, dirt and broken up rocks. Um, there's some uh, kind of uh, bluffs here. But as you move upstream, um, these big outcrops begin. I'm not a geologist, so I'm not sure. I can't identify whether it's Edwards limestone uh, or some other rock. But I do know that the recharge zone starts just south of Hebner Road. And um, the Edwards Aquifer Recharge Zone is where the water, uh, rainwater, goes down into the Edwards Aquifer because there's a lot of cracks and crevices in the Edwards Limestone. Uh, li uh, um, Daddy, the the it's amazing, um, creature house. It's a creature house? Yeah. Oh yeah, lots of creatures can live in there. The uh, the Edwards um, limestone is, in a sense, uh, it's like a door or a gateway into the aquifer. So the water penetrates, trickles down through. There's lots of cracks and stuff, uh, caves, and then it uh, and then and then it it flows underneath San Antonio um, like an underground lake, right under the air traffic as well. But as you move northward from here, you move into the Edwards Plateau, otherwise known as the Texas Hill Country. Yeah, I think this is it. It's quite a cliff there. Um, another interesting piece of history is that along the Salado Creek uh, in the late 1700s and early 1800s, there was a trail here that had been used by the Spanish. It was called El Camino Pinta, the way of paint. But uh, it, was, it was not a heavily used trail, but it was a uh, Native American trail first uh, before it, became, it started being used by the Spanish. Basically, uh, the mission and um, Presidio in downtown, what is now downtown San Antonio, it ran uh, north and then northwest up the Salado Creek um, to its source in Fair Oaks Ranch area, and then uh, it crossed the Cibolo Creek, passed just east of Bernie up to what is now Sisterdale, and there it crossed the Guadalupe River, and then it continued northward uh, and passed east of what is now Fredericksburg, the Camino Pinta. There's very little traces left of it. Um, but chances are the trail ran right through this flat area along the creek. Uh, looks like a game trail or a walking trail here. Who knows? It could have been. This could have been it. Uh, or it could have been to the west of the creek, uh, up on top of those cliffs, um, to the edge of the edge of the cliffs. Uh, could have been where the trail was. But nobody really knows for sure.